All right, welcome to a quick video on my training since I've been here in Thailand. All right, so I arrived in Thailand on the 8th of May, uh, which was pretty good. Did an did easy hour ride there and then had a rest day. This week was pretty pretty cash. Did some intervals on the Thursday, some threshold. Um, again, group ride. This was, again, another group ride. Just pretty easy stuff, nothing too stressful. Went to Doi Kham. Uh, again, real easy. This is um, rest day to start off the week and this is really where my training began so you can see i've basically had four solid weeks of training so it's, weeks have gradually like the hours have gradually gone up uh some weeks i've included my commutes most weeks i haven't i normally commute maybe five to ten k but it's such low intensity it's just like there's no training benefit from it uh, so you can see I did some VO2 max efforts here, um, did Doi Khan full gas and then just did some other ones which is alright. Uh, and then just like my sweet spot, so I just did some sweet spot up the Doi Setep which is a good, good mountain, just kept going. I think I did about 40 minutes of sweet spot and then half an hour full gas um, and then easy ride. Again, group ride and I had a race this weekend which, is about, uh, which was 125k, I was in the break for a decent amount of it. Uh, average watts 250, I think normalizes maybe 270 or something, so decent but nothing absolutely nuts. And I came second in that race, so that was good. Uh, we then have you know decent decent endurance ride here, um, 95k all up for the day. Again, cruisy ride with a couple commutes, but nothing crazy. So you can see a lot of my riding is just like endurance, recovery, or threshold slash VO2. Like there's not, I don't really do too many complicated sessions where I combine things. Uh, again, this is just some easy words, easy spins. I tried to do a full gas TT on this, but just wasn't really mentally up for it. Couldn't be bothered. Um, and then this was uh, just the Starbucks group ride again. Really enjoyed that. Had a rest day and then had the Doi Step race. Uh, so this is some good power actually that came out of this race. Uh, I'll just show it to you here on the power curve. So this is the last six weeks. Um, so for 20 minutes, I did 323 watts. And for half an hour, I did 318 watts, which was my best ever half an hour power. So I was happy about that. Uh, so again, you can see like that week was pretty casual in terms of hours, like only 14 hours. Like I'm used to be like, I can normally do sort of 15 to 20 hour weeks. It just depends like what I'm, what mood I'm feeling in and like how much I really want to kill myself. But this week, again, you can see it was not, not mega hard. Like there was one hard session here on the race. This was mildly hard, but it's such a short and intense period. Um, this group ride, it's only 5k where it's full gas. So it's not that much. That was an easy spin, just nothing crazy. And this again was a bit of threshold, it was supposed to be a harder session. So I don't do too many crazy hard sessions, but these last two weeks have been good. I've just been focusing on trying to get a bit more endurance down me. So you can see I did 100K on on the Monday, just mainly cash, uh, just 192 watts. Uh, I think I averaged maybe 200 for the first bet and then just cruised to get my trophy. Uh, easy recovery ride again. Um, that was sort of a, like, often on some of my recovery rides, I like to go a little bit harder than I should just to make sure I don't lose the flow of training. So there you can see average watts 185, uh, maybe normalized 200 or something, uh, which is a little bit harder than I should for a recovery ride, but sometimes I found like it's quite good to do that. And then again, I had uh, full gas on Doi Calm, which is good. Uh, so you'll see on this one, it wasn't wasn't great numbers. Uh, and I did some 30 15s afterwards. So short, but intense. So this is full gas, 400 watts, four minutes and 11. Um, and then 327 watts here. And you can just see, 30 15s it wasn't as long as I was supposed to but anyway it was good training but that was it so it's not it's not much too much too much stress on my body really um, but it's real high intensity so when it is stressful it's like bad but isn't it's not a large quantity this was good just a solid endurance ride I think it was 236 normalized it just really cooks me and I quite like these endurance rides I can definitely feel they do help like just doing a long endurance ride a little bit above what your endurance pace should be so if we look at this ride like in, in reality my endurance if I was just going for an easy endurance ride and that's why I sort of like to qualify it, what my endurance ride are. So an easy endurance ride, I try and get like 200 weighted power, 210 maybe. But on this, my normalized was 236, uh, which if we look on like the zones, 236 comes almost in tempo because it's like upper endurance. And I, I quite like doing that. You can see a lot of the turns I did, um, I spent an hour and a half at tempo, um, which some people say is just tiring, but I find it helps quite a lot. Um, and it's, it's good. Uh, I also like just going quite fast. Uh, but it was good, like 3,800 3, calories burnt and good TSS for the day. Uh, and then again, easy ride, full gas up the door, not great. But this is the thing me and Paul uh, have been concentrating on. If we're going to do an effort, it's going to be like completely full gas, balls to walls, as hard as you can go. Um, and then this was supposed to be a four-hour ride, but just wasn't feeling it. But it's all good. 
And then Monday, just easy, just cruise with Tori, real easy ride, like 193 watts. It was real, like, it's not, not difficult at all. Um, this was good. I just did, a, like, a sub-threshold effort up Doi, Doi Satep. Uh, I think 35 minutes, 34 minutes, something like that. It was like 280 watts. It was pretty cash. And then just went full gas on a segment. It wasn't real full gas, but it was it was decent anyway. This is Doi Calm. I finally actually gained some power. So my first Doi Calm effort, I did like four, 406 watts, I think, for like four min for a bit over four minutes. And on this one, I was like, right, I'm not getting dropped. Um, I really didn't want Paul to drop me. And obviously, I'm drafting, so it's not as good. But I did seven watts per kilo, more or less, uh, for three minutes, 53, which is good. So you can see here's... My goal and Paul's goal is to try and beat John Epson of 343, which is going to be very hard. I, I'm not sure I'll be able to do it, but Paul probably will be able to do it. Um, so that will be pretty fun. But these these real intense efforts are good. And then after that, I actually I actually did some good training for once. I didn't know no messing around. And then I held 327 watts for nine minutes 30. Doing you can see these these efforts here. Um, 15 seconds, 30 seconds on. So this is 30 seconds as hard as I can go. It wasn't a great interval the first one. And then 15 seconds off, 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off. Uh, 13 times and that's real good it definitely helps you um, in races be able to do that real real surge and then just cut, recover and do it again and it's like the 15 seconds rest is like just not enough it's it's just literally nothing like you'll do 15 seconds rest and then like by the time it's like 10 seconds you've barely like been able to look at the, th the screen and you're like oh I've only got five seconds left and then you just have to go balls to the walls again but it's good training and again and then I just rode up to Doi but even this is like only a two hour ride I'm not doing too much uh, volume uh, f for me for some people maybe it is a lot this was a real cruisy ride again literally just rode to the bike shop um, and then this was actually quite a tiring ride maybe in retrospect I shouldn't have done it because it did tire me out quite a lot for Saturday when I wanted to go full gas up the Doi it's a tip but you can see here 226 weighted average so I just did a um I did the group ride, which was this, which is like a little bit hard. And then I did this 35 minutes at 285 watts, which is good. Uh, but you can see this group ride was actually, well, challenging. It was like 20 minutes at like almost 300 watts, uh, which is a bit of effort. I think it's like 314 normalized. So it's like, nah, it's not it's not easy. Um, and that cooked me a little bit because then this weekend I wanted to go try and beat my PR. But I just, I just mentally wasn't there. Physically, I wasn't too far off my best. Like, I was not probably going to get my PR, but it was close. Like, so basically, I set off a minute ahead of Paul. I was setting a decent tempo. I think it was holding, like, 320, 325 watts. Um, and just, you know, I was trying to hold that. And then Paul came blasting past me because he felt on a real good day. Um, but then the thing is, as soon as he passed me, I was like, oh, well, he's beating me by a minute. I'm not going to get my PR unless he gets, like, 27, like, 30 or something, <laughs> which I didn't think he would. So I was like, oh, there's just no point. But in reality, Paul ended up blowing up at the end. Well, not blowing up, but just, like, slowing down. Um, and I shouldn't have been so soft and just actually just continue with the effort and then today I just did a good three I wanted one well, I wanted to do a six hour ride today but it was raining and everyone was like nah so I just went out and did did a ride on my own three hours 20 minutes 235 weighted average power 38k an hour average which is always nice um, and just banged it out basically I think it was like 240 normalized or something it's pretty pretty good uh, and that again, I tried to get 200 TSS, uh, and I think I was a little bit off, but it was it was all good. It was all good. So we can see here we got got the old training peaks. You can see like the old performance manager. So you can see basically we're getting some fitness, uh, and the fatigue is not too bad, which is good. So you can see here, fitness and fatigue. Uh, is, it's not crazy. Like it's not absolutely nuts. Um, you can see, yeah, we got all we got all the rides here, um, and just like my best twenty minute powers, three twenty three. June was three seventeen, uh, and then you can see in February, no March three thirty four. That's my best ever for my twenty minute power. You, uh, five minute power. Sorry, you can see my best is three ninety four, and I haven't really done a good five minute power so far, just because I haven't really the doy calm effort is a lot shorter. But if you think about it, I did four twenty for like four minutes, so I I could have held easily over 400 which is my goal uh, for the five minutes and hopefully it'll be we'll be able to hold like 420 430 for five minutes by the time it gets to the hill climb season um, and then we just look a little bit more here pretty cash uh, but yeah that's my training for the week for the month of Th uh, for this first month in Thailand which is really good uh, 15 hour weeks are what I like to do uh, when I'm going big but anyway cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next video